Welcome back to Just Campers. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at these brand new upgraded headlamps for the T6.1. So we have two different versions available. This is the gloss black background. As you can see, all of the background is gloss black. This type of headlight is what's known as a projector style headlight. And it's actually got a lens there, which is, acts a bit like a magnifying glass. And our standard H7 bulb is behind that. Currently on project 2022 is a standard reflector style headlamp. So hopefully these will be a massive improvement over the standard vision. They also come with sequential indicators. So the first thing we need to do to actually get access to change our headlights is remove the bumper. Now the bumper comes off all in one, including this front apron at the top here. So the first thing we need to do is remove these poppers. And once these poppers are removed, we then need to go underneath and remove the screws that go along underneath and the tip screws that are on either side of the wheel well. But I'll show you that. So let's get started and let's get the poppers out. So now our poppers are out from the front of the top of the bumper. Next is to get to the tip screws. Now the tip screws are in the wheel well. So I'll show you those if you follow me. So I've turned our wheels in slightly. So I've turned them to the right because I'm on the left hand side. And that gives me a bit of access for my tool to go in. So this is a T25. I've just got it on a ratchet just to make it life a little bit easier. You can use just the screwdriver version if that's what you've got. But remember, as you are taking things out, it's a good idea to pop them in a tool tray or a such like, just so we don't lose any screws. So we have our two tip screws removed from this side. So we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same. Next, we need to go underneath the vehicle and there's three screws that go along the back of the bumper that join the bumper to the wheel arch liner. And they're the only three you need to take out. There are six screws in the vicinity, but it's only the three at the back that we need to remove. And that's for both sides. So again, these are T25, I've already loosened them off, but these are the three we need to remove, that one, that one, and lastly this one, and that detaches the front bumper away from our wheel arch liner. This next bit can be a little bit tricky, and you may need a trim tool or a nice flat set of side cutters to do this. Again, it's a popper, so you can see the popper there, in the wheel arch liner. So we need to gently tease that out, like so. So they can be quite tricky. There's the whole thing that's come out. So the locking bit in the middle and the rest of the popper. So we've got the whole thing away now. Now once that's come out, that gives us a bit more access because lastly, we need to get a popper that goes up this way through our bumper and into our wing. And we might need a trim tool to do that. Again, you can use a screwdriver, flat blade or a pair of side cutters if you've got a nice flat pair. Now with our wheel liner loose, we can pull it back and we can actually get to the last little tricky popper that goes up, goes up through our bumper and into our fixing on our front wing. So again, it's the very same fixing that we removed from our wheel arch liner. So it's got a head that pops out and then we can pull the rest of the fixing out. So I'm gonna use my trim tool remover. Again, you can use a flat bladed screwdriver. Again, these can be a bit fiddly, so just take your time. Um, it may be worth putting a bit of maintenance spray as well to make them move a bit easier. Cool, that's that one out. Now we've got our, all our fixings out, the next thing we need to do is be brave. Now these are actually clipped in to a plastic retainer that's fixed to our wing. So we're gonna grab the bumper here at the corner. And we're just gonna gently prise it apart. And as you can hear, it pops out of the clips. You see these holes here on the top of the bumper? These correspond with the um, actual catch clips along on the front wing. So the next bit we need to do is disconnect our grill from the main part of the bumper carcass behind. Now, you can remove this rubber trim here, which actually makes things a little bit easier, I think, because you can actually see the grill versus the bit that's gonna stay on the vehicle. And what that means is I can then Give that a gentle pull and you can see the clip coming out like so. But with the rubber trim on the other side, you're not necessarily seeing whether the clip's coming out and you could break them. So again, it's nice and easy with the trim tool just to peel this back and find where the poppers are and then remove this rubber strip, let go. And then we gently work our way along from each side. As you say, you can see whether the clips are coming out or they're gonna snap off. And that's the front part of our grill loose and the main carcass part of the bumper left behind for the moment. The next bit, you need to be brave and you need two people. And just as a note before you go and do this next part, if you've got front parking sensors and front fog lights, you would need to disconnect 
the multi-plug, which is situated under this side. And it'd be a gray plug with a little red locking tab. So you back the locking tab out and then unplug the actual whole plug itself. And that will, all the loom will come off with the bumper then. As you can see, I've got a mat on the floor in front of our bumper. So when we pull the bumper off, we've got something to rest it on. So this is where you need two people. So Nick's gonna help me and we're gonna be brave. <laughs> And we basically put our fingers up behind the front grill in the middle. There we go. And off it comes. And now we can either let that down onto our mat just to protect the paintwork. Next, we need to undo the four T25 screws that hold our main carcass of our bumper to the vehicle, just to give us a little bit more room to be able to get to our screws for a headlight and, and wiggle the headlight out of there. You remember at the beginning, we undid our clips that holds this to the slam panel. Well now, once we undo these, you'll see why I took those out. So there's one here. Turn that one out, and there's one below that, down here. And then do the same again on the other side. Don't actually remove the whole part of this uh, bumper carcass. It's literally just to give us some movement so we can move our headlights in and out of it. So next is to unbolt the headlight itself. So our first uh, fixing is this T25 hidden here. So we're gonna undo him. Then undo the lower fixing underneath the headlight, the one you can't see with the bumper on, hence why we took the bumper off. As you can see, all of this portion here is below the front bumper. We undo the top fixings for the headlamp, which are these two here. So unplugging these headlamps can be a little bit tricky. And I mean the plug itself. There's a little clip on there that needs a bit of compression. Uh, I find it a lot easier with a little screwdriver. So I've wiggled the headlamp out and I've wiggled our loom out of our little socket from the side here, which gives us a bit more room. And I gently place the screwdriver in here and pull back and you hear that little clip and then we can remove the plug itself. If you think you um, can get on there with your thumb and give that a push down, then that may be the way, but I find it a lot easier with a little screwdriver. So while we've got it out and on the table, I can quickly show you the difference between the two headlamps. This is the original one. As you can see, you can actually see the bulb in the back there, and it's got like an old school reflector around that. Now, most lamps from a long time ago had that reflector behind that lamp to reflect our illumination. Now, these new type, you can see it's got like a lens on the front, and that actually acts as a magnifying glass. So we've still got a standard bulb behind that, but it magnifies that illumination time to get it fitted. So the first thing we need to do is obviously get our plug plugged in and our lamp into position. Yeah, as when we removed it, we had to move this part of the bumper brace. The same thing applies for when we're refitting the new headlight. So I'll get that slotted behind there and then get it plugged in before I push the whole thing home. It's actually easier to plug it in now. Just plug that in like so, make sure the wiring's out the way and then just sort of wiggle this back into position and then we can put a fixing back in there and there and in the top. So firstly, I am gonna put the fixings in the top. These go through the height. These are height adjusters, by the way, to line up the top of the headlamp with the bonnet. It's not anything to do with the actual headlight alignment. It's just to do literally the, the body to body fit. So we'll leave that where it was and see if we need to adjust it when we've got the bonnet shut. And this fixing goes in underneath the headlight. Again, this goes through an adjuster bracket. So we're gonna leave that where it is for the moment. That's that in. The last one we've got to do is through the grill here. So let's pop him in and then that's all the fixings back into the headlight. Do the same the other side and then we can bolt our grill back on. You won't be able to see me because it's really dark in here. But what's really cool is the cool features of the daytime running lights on these new headlamps. Check out the difference. So this is our new upgraded version versus our original factory version. And the other really cool thing about these headlights are the sequential indicators. So we've got the van outside and the lights even look good in the daylight. Look how bright they are. Those day running lights are really cool. I love the shape of the lamp. It really complements the front of this van. Also the indicators, the sequential indicators look really good. And look how bright they are. To grab yourself a set of these headlamps, visit justcampers.com or click the link in the description below. To see more how-to videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.